Todd Winter, head football coach at Holy Innocence Episcopal School. Well, I definitely think we're a veteran team and we have 16 seniors, uh, 10 returners on defense, eight on offense, um, returner kicker as well. Um, you know, the, the chemistry of the team is excellent. You know, we have great senior leadership. I mean, they've really taken the younger kids under their wing. Um, very happy with um, the progress we've made. And that is all due to the uh, senior leadership that we have in the squad. I mean, uh, same way we have every year. Um, you know, it's, it's a grind. It's uh, long hours, a lot of film. Guys are, are tired, you know, and that's why they call it the grind, but we've never changed what we've done. I mean, our, our motto is work wins, and it all goes back to your work ethics. So um, we have changed a few things this week, um, you know, because we have a veteran team, and instead of going full pads all week, we're going to go with uh, shells yesterday. We're going to go uh, full today, helmets on Wednesday, and then shells on Thursday, full back on Friday. Um, and we cut down practice time a little bit as well. I mean, we got a veteran team, and uh, but it's still uh, football, you know, installation, a lot of meetings, and uh, just a lot of hard work. Well, I mean, Region 5, without question, in football, um, in single A, is the toughest region in the state. I mean, we have Elka. Uh, I think they're three or four-time defending state champion. Uh, they haven't lost a region game since 2010 when Holy Innocence beat them and won the region championship the, the one time we did in football. You know, so they're a, a very good football team. Um, you know, then you got Wesleyan, who's, a, who's always very steady. It's a well-coached football team. Uh, coaches have been there a long time, so same uh, offense, defensive schemes. Um, so overall, I mean, you know, it's, it's a tough league no matter how you shake it out. Great coaches, great players. As far as key games, I think, on our schedule, I mean, um, and this is all based on us staying healthy and things going the way we predict them to go. But I think Hebron Christian is going to be a, a big game. I mean, their quarterback has 15 Power 5 offers, he's only a junior. Um, Wesleyan will be another big game. And of course, you know, the Mount Vernon game here on uh, October 4th, the homecoming game. And that's going to be gigantic. Um, you know, the question is, I think Mount Vernon is going to be a little bit younger, but. You know, we're going to be dealing with a lot of distractions that week as a team, so we got to stay focused and uh, hopefully uh, it's not like it has been the last two years. It's been a nail biter and unfortunately we've came out on the wrong side, but um, I feel like we have a chance to, um, you know, play a little bit better this year. You know, from last season to this season, the biggest point of emphasis has been, you know, for our guys to stay humble. And I say that because when you return 10 starters on defense, eight starters on offense, you know, um, your, your kicker, and then you have three players that are named preseason All-State, which I think is a school record, uh, first time that's happened here. You know, you, there's a tendency to think, hey, we've arrived, you know, we don't have to put the, the work in. So it's been stay humble, keep chopping wood, and from there, you, you know, win the day. You know, don't focus on, uh, you know, who do we play on the 24th? You know, focus on let's get better today. So that's that's been the focus. I mean, as long as we keep, uh, if we stay grounded and not think that we're better than we are, um, then we'll be fine. But, you know, we're striving for perfection. And you know, you're never going to reach perfection, um, but you're going to strive for it. And uh, along the way, you're going to find excellence.